flipped on the camera to say hey. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in Southwest Florida. I think it's about 63 degrees, 64 degrees. Just getting started on its way to, I think they said 85 degrees today. It's gonna be hot. Anyway, so big news in the Harley Davidson world this week. Their CEO stepped down. Matt, I think his last name was Leverage or something like that. Anyway, Harley's in search of a new CEO. I got a couple thoughts on that. Roll that intro. Hi guys. So first things first, if you like watching videos that involve motorcycles, that could be riding motorcycles, looking at motorcycles, talking about motorcycles, fixing motorcycles, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you can be notified every time I put up a new video, which is at least once a week, if not twice a week. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and leave us a comment as I respond to all of them. Alright, back to the subject. Harley Davidson needs a CEO. I've been reading a lot about people's thoughts on this on the internet. And what I keep hearing is, I hope the new CEO lowers the prices of their bikes. I can almost, almost guarantee you that no matter what CEO they get, the prices of the bikes are not going to go down. You don't see the prices of a new Ford F-150 going down, do you? They're going to continue just like they are. Now, what they could do is they could add to the value. So they could add some performance upgrades, maybe change the suspension, do some of the top five things that everybody does after they buy their Harley and make that part of the package. That they could do. But lower the price? I don't think so. Now they might create some bikes like they just released the Softail Standard this week, um, which is basically the street bob with a couple of cosmetic changes. And it's a thousand dollars, I think it's about a thousand dollars less than um, the street bob. So for everybody that's been wanting a cheaper bike, there you go. So they've done a few of those where they strip down, where they strip down the bike and make it cheaper. But I wouldn't count on them to go in and go, oh, the Street Glide Special is now $2,000 cheaper. I don't see that happening, ever. I don't know what the hell's going on up here, but damn it. Anyway, back to the CEO. So I imagine all the board members are searching for somebody that has a, a business pedigree. Um, and I get that, right? They need somebody to run the business side. But that person also needs to be a, a motorcycle enthusiast, a biker, um, somebody that rides, somebody that understands the brand, the culture, Harley Davidson as a whole. And that might be a tough find. So my thought on that is, I think they should take the CEO role and split it in half. So then they can hire their well-polished, well-groomed business guy, and then they can hire their bike guy. And the two of them have to agree in order for anything to move forward. Bet that would be some interesting meetings. But anyway, we need a bike guy at the top of Harley Davidson because let's face it guys, if you're listening Harley Davidson, you are a motorcycle company. You need somebody that actually knows something about motorcycles, riding motorcycles, the culture around Harley Davidson to run your company. Or at least run half your company. That way you can get the best of both worlds. You can get your biker with all of his input, 
and then you can get your business tycoon with all of his input. Combine the two together, and voila! You guys have the perfect CEO. CEOs. Anyway, I was just riding to my meeting. That thought popped into my head. I thought, you know what? I'm going to share that. Not that Harley Davidson's going to listen to me. I mean, who am I? But just one of their customers. That talks to other ones of their customers. Anyway, just a short, quick video. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Anyway, guys, remember, it's not about the destination. It's all about the ride. See ya.